Hey kids, do you like capitalism? Yes, yes I do. That that's that you got. That's Except when it works against me, which is all the time. That's the response you're going for. Yes, it's factory, the industrial de-evolution, which is an extremely confusing way to title your game. Now I've run the. I don't think this game is. Yeah. This game is so much about capitalism as it is living in the capitalist society. And yeah, it's like about the, uh, production. Fun and fun and great times you'll have there. Um. Okay. So. I don't really know how to start this game. I, I never started it before. I think you're trying to start a level pack. I tried New Month, and it, it brings up that box. Open. I, you want open? You have to open, what, December, I guess? New, I think, opens up the level editor. Begin. Then game begin. Yeah. Okay, I'll be nobody. Welcome to Factory! Is the Macintosh so user-friendly? This is not user-friendly, but I expect things not to be user-friendly on a Mac. I'm a Windows user. Okay. So it's halitosis mouthwash. Hilarious. Uh, with Facum. Hey, didn't they make all those bees games? Mm-hmm. You've only... You have to only switch one control box on and off. Alright. So it gives you this, like, guide to how to do what you're supposed to do. And then you get taken to the assembly line. Um, that's a cap. So you click this, and then that will send the cap up this conveyor thing to be dropped into this box. Are you following along? Speed slow. I would say that's accurate, yes. I need to be slow speed because I am. Alright, now this goes into this machine and... Right. Ah, there we go, it's blue liquid that turns green. Fantastic. And then it gets put into the bottle. Wonderful. What a wonderful game. I actually don't know how to speed it up, actually. Ah! Oh. Speed it up, it's... It's Apple S. Um... Well, that's gonna be tricky, actually. Oh no, I got it. Alright, we can do it. Speed it up. There you go, everyone. Be, uh, be grateful I figured out how to speed it up. Uh, we we're gonna be here a while. And we'll turn it on fast. I'm a pro now. Well, you could turn it up all the way and make the speed run. That's, uh, has anyone speed run factory, I wonder? Well, we can always be the first. I like your dorky little, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotta pay attention when you work in the production line. I gotta say, you know, this is not how a production line works at all. Like, having to manually sort through what you're supposed to do is the exact opposite of how a production line is supposed to work. Oh, I've got to make six. The truck is full. It's full with six bottles. Maybe it's like a one of those Sam's Club economy sizes. Or whatever <laughs> your equivalent is. Well... The kind of store they sell everything really huge. I made $300 oh, making that. Or... Asterisk, asterisk. Or whatever. Okay, so now we get to make Elmo cereal. Drop the toy surprises. Okay. So, the cereal box gets the toy surprise in it, and then it gets stamped with an elbow face. Whoa. Hold on. 
very complicated. Oh, I gotta click the box to release the box. I see. So, Don't worry, you have like about I don't know two minutes before that thing hits the hits the drop to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. I think I have unlimited boxes, so I just press it. Press it. To release. No, I don't think I have any boxes yet. Let's speed it up. I think you put the box in the wrong tube. Was there a box? Wait, you got the stickers and you got the boxes, so wait. No, yeah, I think you're good. I don't see any boxes. Oh, there's a box. Finally. I was worried I wasn't going to get a box, you know? Story of my life, though. No, you look for boxes, and all you can find is stickers. Or toys, whatever those are supposed to represent. Yeah, it's true. I think they're supposed to be a thing. Okay, so you press this, and the box goes out. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, they put cereal in there. Make another box, I guess. I imagine this does probably get a lot more interesting once you're uh, at higher levels. At I least the like, kind of people are in a... I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Seems to be rejecting my boxes. Have I done something wrong? I think, from what I remember playing this game, you you might need to click on the sticker as a as a box passes under it, but I could be wrong. No, no. Well, that didn't work. It said no, no, and then it freaked the fuck out. Try it again. Yeah, I'm not seeing stickers appear on those boxes. What? I don't know what the issue is. It looks like you're doing this right to me. It's doing it wrong somehow. Let's uh try using a, a math here. Are we supposed to already load a sticker? No. No, no, none of that seemed to work. Yeah, it's definitely putting them in the boxes. Well, this is disappointing. We had it all under control. We don't. It doesn't seem like the level's ending, so... Hmm. Well, we're not getting our shipments not going up. Our Elmo boxes are being rejected. Why is our Elmo boxes being rejected? Oh, I... What? I think the 
problem is the uh, title up there with an updating right? Yes, that seems to be the problem. We were doing it right. What a load of crap. Yeah, it turned out. Turns out we were doing fantastic. All right, you so we got a metaphor for uh, John itself. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what you do right, you still do it wrong. All right, so we drop the shoes in the left storage pipe and the boxes in the right pipe. The routine is essentially the same as yesterday, except that now you must manually release the boxes by clicking on the storage tank. I had to manually release the boxes yesterday. Okay. Is, um, right. Uh, yes? I don't, I don't see what's different. Yeah, this top bar is broken. I think I fixed it by clicking on it. Okay, I think it's fixed now. Okay, this seems like suspiciously similar, but it's all right. Mind? Oh, I was close. I almost completely screwed up. It must be so exhilarating watching this. Well, like I said, if you, if you actually got to a higher level, I'm sure this would be fun for the kind of people like time management games and such. I think uh, the game's actually pretty fun, you know. Um, I don't know much like it either, so that's, you know, that's always a plus. Would this go under time management kind of game, you think? Um... It kind of strikes me as like slightly similar to like those cooking games. You know, uh, Ready Steady Cook and that sort of, uh, or whatever the heck it's called. Cooks for Delicious? Yes, that's the one. Sorry, that other one is an Australian TV show, but, um... Yeah, like, you know, like that you just have to uh, do things in a specific order under time pressure. I, I'm doing this as fast as I can. And it's not giving me any boxes, so I can't go any faster. Come on. Come on. I'm wondering if the boxes get crushed randomly. That would be interesting. Ah, oh, crap. There's a shoe in the wrong place. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Shoe in the wrong place. Reject it. Throw it in the incinerator because it has failed me. This game doesn't appear to have any music. It's missing powerhouse. That's what it needs. It could really use something, yeah. Really, really any sort of music at all. It, it could do, um, like, genuinely, it could do with some of that, like, sort of really nice ambient, uh, SimCity sort of music. Like something chirpy and upbeat, but not too offensive. Yes. Sweet! I made... That's a lot of fucking money to make, you know? In one week? Yeah, I, I kind of doubt that factory jobs ever actually pay that well. Well, they won't in Obama's America. I know, but... I, I've got to make an Obama's America joke before, you know, he gets replaced with someone else. Mulatto milk? Uh, alright, that's a bit of a... Is that their way of saying chocolate, but being kind of... Whatever. Um... So now we're going to make milk. Um... Dropping the labels into their tank and let the cartons slide by. Release the cartons from the tank so they can be labeled and filled. You have to release the finished product from a secondary storage tank as well. So the cartons go into the cotton box and they get filled with the product, go through a machine, then you put the sticker on them. Uh, I 
yes, this game just got a little bit more complicated. Um, yes, okay. That's fine, I am a qualified uh, factory technician. I can handle this. Click the top bar again, because it broke. Let's leave it on medium. Okay, so this goes like this. This gets filled with... Whatever that was, that wasn't milk. Ugh. That was gross. I'm not buying any milk from the Mulatto company. Then I push the sticker on, or it gets sticked automatically. It gets sticked automatically. So why do I have to release it manually then? I guess I gotta give you something to do. Yeah, that's. I guess that's true. I will say this would make a pretty nice screensaver. Uh, one of those screensavers that doesn't actually work. I guess it could generate like, oh, right, like a factory and then run it for like a minute and then generate a new factory. I could see this game appealing to a lot of people. Um, this is one of those like weird little Mac or you know Windows 3.1 or whatever games that totally totally would work if you were to re-release it on like an iOS or you know mobile platform. Because you're only clicking like a couple of things on screen. This would really work, I think. I think you'd have to do something to keep get the pacing up a bit, because it's kind of slow as it is, as you can see. Uh, well, the pace is pretty quick, um, in terms of what you actually are trying to do without screwing up. I mean, you could do, I don't know, in-game money things if you do it faster, so that you encourage people to play it faster, maybe? Starting to get exciting, feeling excited by the uh, milk operations that are going on here. I'm starting to get some uh, almost procedural music from the sound of the machines running. Nice. Careful not to send too many things through at once, or I'll uh, get in trouble with the, with the man. Oh, you have to make 20 of them. Damn. Yeah, that would be something you have to fix in the re release, because that's. That makes this level take way too, way too long to finish once you've actually got the hang of how to do this. Yeah. I mean, it's technically only 10, but still, like, you're still waiting for the rest to come out. Yeah, you gotta wait for the stickers. I'm getting more, uh, more milk containers than I am stickers. I don't think I've, I've screwed up any stickers this time, so... Like the maximum number that I could dump through. I think there's been a couple of um, modern indie games that have focused on building a production line, although they're not the same kind of game. You know, I think there's like the Incredi Factory or the Infinity Floor or something. Oh, um, and there's like a pharmaceuticals production company as well, I think, is the number one. Sorry, I can't remember their names. But I think that's pretty close. I do like the, uh, the whole, um, general aesthetic they have going on here. It does remind me of those, those, like, really, uh, almost Ruben Goldberg, like, gift sets that you get, where it's, like, the same, like, ten frames or something, but it's a really big picture. There we go, look at all that ball. Delicious. Perfect day. Well, you know, I'm pretty good at production lines. This factory makes new things every day, and it's a completely different factory as well. That's very impressive. 
Okay, store the caps. I don't think employers appreciate that kind of job hopping. Yeah, you, you, they generally want you to be really good at it. Um, just at one specific thing. Okay, store the caps, tubes and boxes in the appropriate places, then click to release a tube. The rest happens automatically. Ah, right. You get the uh, packet, put the red thing on, it gets injected with toothpaste, and then it gets glued. Okay. Enough. This seems suspiciously similar to the previous levels. The bar again, because it's broken. So, pro tip for viewers at home, never play this on slow mode. Yeah, I... Unless you have some kind of a... It's like, at least it's got a uh, shortcut key. Oh, that you don't have to keep manually resetting it. But, you know, once it starts, you know, once all this stuff starts moving, it uh, starts to get a bit more... That stuff starts to happen a bit better. Okay. Go, 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 tube, go! Come on, toothpaste. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to play a toothpaste production line simulator today. I was wanting to play Streets of Rage. They were all like, uh, play the toothpaste game. This is much better than Streets of Rage. I don't want to sound like well, we've played worse games. Yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm bummed out. I'm actually uh, enjoying this game quite a bit. I mean, if it was between this and Grossology, what would you pick? Well, this is a game that I can see having a lot of fun with. Um, like, I believe it has a level editor, is what, um, or at least it has a lot of custom levels or something. So yeah, like this game, you know, it's a, it's one good game, as opposed to Chrysology, which was a bunch of not generally good games mixed together. I'm sorry if anyone is bored by watching me click things constantly. But that's... It's kind of mesmerizing in a way. I hope so. I mean, it's got, you know, the sound effects are not, like, earth-shattering, but they are also pretty good. Like, they do what they're supposed to do. I, I oh, did no. realize that that happened. I wasn't paying attention. It's nice that they give you a sound effect to warn you that something has gone wrong in the production line. Come on. Come on. Give me some bottle caps or toothpaste lids. There we go. I mean, what kind of an idiot is feeding the in tray on this conveyor belt machine? Uh, you know, production lines. So we have like toothpaste caps and toothpaste containers and boxes. And they're all separate, and it's like, how are we going to load them into the machine? And, and it's a freaking idiot's like, yeah, yeah, just put them all in the same tube. No. What the hell's wrong with you, you idiot? Ruin the entire production. I admit I'm not, like, an expert on a menial labor job, so I don't know if this how it actually works. You should... Probably not, but it could be wrong. Well, you should watch how it's made. There's, there's like 300 episodes of How It's Made available on YouTube right now. And you can learn all that you ever need to know about production. It is actually just as mesmerizing to watch as this. It's very... somewhat 
Zen experience. Boomers. Oh, we got, we got, we got 11. Getting closer. Need to put this, um, many more we got. A couple more. A couple more. Put this, uh, come on. Uh, I think that's the last one. And we just need to not waste the rest of them. I think if we don't start the next one, will we still lose money for wasting it, even though we didn't use it? Because I know we, we dropped one in the trash. We got it. Okay. Defective one in the tank. When that happened? I don't know when call me out on that. Ooh, sweet. We get to make big burgers. Dock the two bun storage units evenly and keep the cow caucus flowing steadily into the center. Oh boy. I'm so glad that I sat by for this next stage. So, what kind of factory just makes like pre made burgers? Are those like those uh, frozen burgers you get at the store? Wait, no, it wouldn't be because those are just the patties. You don't get, you don't get like full frozen burgers over there? I've seen them. What, like bun and everything? Yeah. I haven't seen that. I, I didn't think it was that uncommon. I've seen them all over the place. You know, they're they're not good burgers, but you know, they exist. Okay, so It did say cow carcass, so I'm extremely disappointed that it's just kind of a vague-looking sort of sausage thing. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a beef patty, but it doesn't really look that much like a beef patty. So I noticed there were some custom levels in this. I wonder what those look like, if those get really crazy. Like, I don't know what Kaizo Factory looks like. Kaizo Factory? When you're har too hardcore for the normal levels, I mean. Oh crap, we got a problem. Oh no. Production has been ruined. I was too busy thinking about Kaizo levels or whatever that is. Turns out we're bad at burgers. This one is kind of more complex, but less interesting than the, uh, the other levels. I mean, without the high-definition cow carcass, there's not much of a point to this level, really. But it's set to fast and it's still slow. It's fast, fast. It's fast, high speed. Fast is the highest speed, yes. There is no, uh, like, maximum CPU speed like um, some other games often have. Oh no! I thought I had a bun, but I didn't. Oh, you made your quota, so you can stop putting effort into it now. <laughs> that's that's terrible. I don't want to give someone a shit burger. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you're buying a, a frozen burger, you probably deserve a shit burger, but. 
got to have some professional pride in your work. You know, your um, burger, freezing, pseudo food machine, burger operation. Like, I mean, do I have a time limit? Is that actually a time limit down there? Yes, I believe it is. I mean, I'm assuming it's a time limit. I don't think there's a time limit. Isn't this clock? Because your timer is... Won't this clock just end at like 5 o'clock or something? You know, like standard work day? Hmm. I was wondering if it was based on system time. Definitely like it. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, so that was candy, but we'll... Well, oh, I can't. I'm press OK. I'm not looking. I don't care. Okay. So... Yeah, that's... Let's retire. Wait. I did it. Wow. Hey, look! It's Bobinator! I guess Bobinator shared me his system. <laughs> An X for some reason. It's not my fault. Yeah, I forget. I, I think X might have given me the system that was on this. That I had this game. I just copied it to a new drive. Me. Let's, uh. So let's, let's go to open. More months. I mean, these are the uh, the created months, right? Right? Um, crap, we just fell out of the level. I'm here. Uh, Go to Macedonia. I'm gonna see what Dad Nober is. I'm going with Macedonia. Also, a good choice. That's that's not me. Maybe it is me. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of looks like more of the same, really. Do I have to send this jug through multiple times? Is that what I have to do? I think so. No, I think I have to, uh... I think all these jugs have to, uh, be sent through multiple times? No. Um... Well, none of this seems to do anything. Oh, no. I mean, I've broken some of the glasses. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're... Oh, there's a... There's a... I see. This does look a good deal more complicated, but I don't think you're doing this right. I think I see what's going on. You can click this button, change the panel color. We'll change that to red, and we'll see what happens. Well, that breaks that, so that's not good. No. Let's speed it up and see if we can get a clean gloss. Let's see what happens if it goes through here on this red one. Well, that also breaks it. Fantastic. Is this just some sort of, like, you can't possibly finish it level? Everything I do breaks these glosses. Maybe look the assembly guide again, just make sure. 
Glass goes to this machine. It then goes to this machine, which doesn't exist. Then goes to this machine. I'm not really feeling this stage. <laughs> Try one more set, maybe. Yeah, all right. Because none of this seems to do what I would expect it to do. Can't click the glasses. No. Don't know. That breaks it. That breaks it. Everything breaks no. it. Well, sucks. Ain't that level. Let's try... What are we doing? I don't want easy December. I like Poindex member. Alright, we'll do Poindex member. In. Timber. Right says Pez Inc. Slap a head on a body, slap a body in a box with three refill candles, and you're successfully providing a legal head... What is this, like, Pez drugs? Alright, fair enough. Make the Pez. You know, if you had to smuggle drugs, Pez is probably a pretty good way to do it. I, Not that I... Yeah, well, I'm now suspicious of you. Bob's a drug peddler. That's how we fund the, um, whole channel, actually. Um, it's, it's Patreon and, um, also Bob's peddling drugs. I'm like one of those 80s drug dealers that you get the after-school lesson from. I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> Which that's true of all of us, isn't it? Um, Alright, so this one looks like it has a lot more things that you have to sort. Whoops, I accidentally sorted that from the wrong oh, thing. No. Recycle machine, I guess? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Interesting. Alright, so this one has like a, uh, like an outlet over here. Oh, you have to cycle it through to get it stamped multiple times, I guess? Yeah, this one's definitely more complicated, so let's see if we can, uh, oops, I forgot to, uh, throw the ones that weren't working in the trash. This one's a lot more complicated, so let's see what we can do here. I'm not actually sure what you're doing in this one, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm making it happen. I'm living the dream. Oh, crap. Well, that didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, sweet. You can open these. Well, that's cool. I wish I'd known that sooner, and I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have screwed that up that badly, but, all right. No. Oh crap, I broke the, uh... What did I break here? I have no idea. Ah! Yes, this one's much more complicated. Oh, no. Are we even gonna manage to make one shipment of precious Pez?
Stay tuned to find out if I can make a single shipment of Pez. Spoilers, no, he cannot make a single shipment of Pez. I can make a shipment of Pez. You think I can't handle a shipment of Pez? Wait, you have to do this 15 times? It's exhilarating. What? Yeah, of course you have to do it 15 times. That's how Pez is made. Why do you think Pez is so expensive? I actually have no idea if Pez is expensive. I have. Uh... I'm gonna put on slow so I can, uh... I'm gonna try dropping this box down here. That work? Yeah, I got a Pez in there. Got a Pez in there. I'm very excited to have successfully put a Pez. The Pez machine. Is that gonna load three candles? Yes. Done it. Done it. We're gonna ship a Pez. Here we go. This is the most exciting thing that's happened all year. Come on, box of Pez. We did it. I believe we have successfully shipped a single packet of Pez. There's now a world Pez shortage, thanks to me. No, I don't want to try again. Oh, and now I've been fired. You're fired! Well, this is the true story of capitalism, then. And Chaz. Factory 1.3, brought to you by 99%. That you mean the 1%, man. Well, it could be an ex expression of frustration, too. Top earning EFASTs for the month of Poindextimber. Hey, this Chaz guy. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen